Guys, I just cloned one of the most popular blockchain applications, Etherscan, entirely with ChatGPT. It's absolutely insane what you can do with this artificial intelligence technology if you know what you're doing. And in this video, I wanna break down exactly how I did that and how you can do the same thing. So I really think you're gonna get a ton of value out of this, especially if you're trying to figure out how do I actually use ChatGPT in my developer workflow. And if you find this video helpful, make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you wanna learn how to become a blockchain master step-by-step step, start to finish, then I can show you how to do that over at dappuniversity.com for slash bootcamp. All right, so let's jump into this. Let me tell you how I cloned Etherscan entirely on my computer with ChatGPT. So one of the main reasons I'm making this video is because I've been racking my brain, how can I actually use this artificial intelligence technology to speed up my workflow as a developer in a way that's actually beneficial and productive to me that saves me time or saves me money from having to hire somebody else to do something for me. Well, I've been figuring that out, and one big way that I can do that is with user interface design. So let me explain. I, like a lot of other developers, love coding things that work, and then you make the magic happen, but then you kind of get stuck when you're trying to figure out what should it look like? What does an intuitive user experience look like? What's a good interface look like? And you usually have to work with the front-end developer or copy a theme or something like that. But what if you could just write the app and tell ChatGPT, like, hey, make it look like this instead. And that's exactly what I've been using it for on my other projects. So let me show you how it works. All right, so in order to follow along with this, you need a couple things. Number one is you need a ChatGPT account. You can use the free version for this. And then second of all, you need to be able to clone this repository on your computer so that you can follow along with these in steps. So this is a React application, so you need Node.js installed, you need a text editor, and you also need a terminal, okay? So go ahead and grab this. I'll put the code down in the description below, but you're gonna wanna go to a terminal and do git clone, all right, paste in the URL here, and then clone that onto your system, okay? I've already done that, so I'm gonna skip that step, but you're gonna enter into this directory once you've created it. It's called AI Frontend, and you're gonna install all the dependencies for the project with uh, npm install, okay? All right, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up this app inside of a inside of a, uh, a text editor here. I'm using Sublime Text. You can use whatever text editor you'd like. And so you can see the final code solution that I created entirely with ChatGPT inside this uh, app. So you can go to front end components. You can see this uh, app.js file. And then you can also see this uh, app.css file. So I'm gonna show you how I created all this stuff step-by-step step with ChatGPT. All right, so step number one is to come up with a basic idea of what the app should look like. Okay, you don't have to be a great artist to do this, but you need to come up with a wireframe. So I created this on a simple website like this tutorialspoint.com. I just Googled like free whiteboard uh, software and this came up and you can like draw on it and stuff. But this is the mock-up that I came up with. I basically just like drew out the top header bar, uh, drew out a search function, showed the latest blocks, the latest transactions, and the footer content just so that I have an idea of where I want to head with this application. And that more or less looks like how etherscan.io is laid out. You've got the top bar, the search bar, the latest blocks and transactions, and then a footer. Okay. So you start with that so that you can understand how to lay out your code. So then the next step is to actually create the app skeleton. All right. And so I did this in React.js. That's exactly what's here inside this app.js file. Now, if you're a developer and you want to create an app, then this is where you code out the behavior of the app. You just, you know, wire it up and make sure that it lays out on the page like you want it to. Not how it should look, but just that you actually get some stuff on the page, okay? So um, you can do this part entirely with ChatGPT as well. Actually, I did that, okay? So I'm not going to take you through the entire process of that. You could just say, hey, create me a simple one-page React application with ChatGPT. I want to focus more on the styling side of things. So we're going to just stick with the code here that is the app.js code. Basically, it uses Ethers.js to pull information in from the blockchain. It gets the latest transactions, the latest blocks, and just lays all the HTML out on the page. Okay, so that's step number two. Step number one is create a wireframe. Step number two is to create your app so that it more or less you know, works so that you can see what that looks like. So I'm going to boot up the app right now at this phase to where it just works, but it doesn't look like anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the app.css file. I'm going to take everything that's in here and I'm going to delete it. Okay, they're cleared out. So that's step number one. Um, so then I'm going to go to my terminal and I'm going to do npm run start. 
to boot up the website. And here you can see I've got all the basic information like you would see on a website like Etherscan. I've got the header bar up here, which looks like nothing because there's no CSS, okay? I got a search bar. I've got the latest blocks. It's actually pulling this stuff in from the blockchain. The latest transactions, it's actually gave this from the blockchain. And then a footer down here, but it looks terrible, okay? So this is where the really powerful part of chat GPT comes in. I'm going to tell it to style this for me step by step so that it can actually look good. All right, so I got into chat GPT and said, hey, I have an app here and I've created an HTML for a single page React app. It's a simple block explorer app. You know, here's what it does. I just listed out the basic functionality and I said, hey, I want you to create a style sheet for this app. Please style it for me. So I'll give you some instructions, but here's the React JS code. So I literally just went to my uh, app.js file and just copied it and pasted it and put it into ChatGPT, okay? And it's like, hey, okay, awesome, I got your app. Now, what do you want me to do? Now, I started off with my first prompt. I said, let's start off with the basic layout. I like a full width nav bar. I like a large hero section with a centered search bar. And I like the latest transactions to look like this. And the footer should take up the entire uh, last part of the page, okay? So basically, I was just going by my mock-up and describing what I see there in my mock-up and translating that to ChatGPT to see if it would spit back the results. And so it did. And so I literally just copied these, all right, and put it into my app.css file. So I've actually saved each of these prompts in the tutorial. So you can see step one, this is the exact prompt that I gave it, and this is the style sheet that it spit back. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it into my app.css file. I'm going to save it, go back to my browser, and then boom. There you can see what it came up with. All right, so that's a big improvement from no structure at all. And it more or less looks like uh, the general structure of this mock-up that I have here, okay? With some changes, right? Like these are not these are not centered, like this is not you know, aligned properly. This is kind of crunched up up here, but it's way better. All right, and then I said, can you make the following changes? Make the nav bar brand, the site title aligned left. Make the nav bar links, links aligned right. That makes this go over here, these go over here. All right, can you also make the latest blocks and latest transactions uh, appear side by side? Currently, they're on top of each other. That makes these you know, go like this. And then finally, can you make the hero section a little bit bigger, so more space here? Okay, so I have the result of that here, and then I put it into my app.css file, save that, and let's see what it does. All right, so that's a lot better. You can see the nav bar has got the stuff on the left and the right. We've got more space inside of here. It's starting to look a little bit more like etherscan.io, all right? And now these still don't look right, so let's try to fix that. All right, so I said for step three, now let's fix the panels. Please make them side by side with a maximum width of 600 pixels. Make them stick out, uh, make the title stick out and underline, and then add some separation for each list item, okay? So let's go ahead and copy that and then put it back into our app.css file. And let's see what it gives us. All right, that looks a lot better. Okay, so now we have our latest blocks and latest transactions side by side. It's starting to shape up nicely. Okay, so now our basic layout looks pretty close. Um, now what we wanna do is try to spice things up a little bit. So I said, uh, you know, hey, can you make the entire app themed like a modern web application? So that's what I did on step four. All right, this is the CSS that it spit back. We can put that in our app.css file and let's see what it gives us. All right. That looks a lot better. So we've got some uh, differences between the background, the panels here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this orange search button. So I asked it to make it blue, okay? And that's what it gave me in the CSS on step five. So I could. this is the prompt that I said, can you make the search button blue instead? So let's paste that into app.css. So I'm just replacing the CSS every time that it gives me. And then there you go, the search is blue. And so now what I wanna do is make this, you know, hero section right here behind the search look a little bit more like Etherscan. So I, you know, instead of trying to create copy the exact topographical map texture, I was like, let's just try to make it a blue gradient of some kind. That'll make it look close enough. So can you create a dark blue gradient background for the hero section? Okay, so this is the CSS that I received. Pop it in there, click save, and let's take a look. Awesome, start to look a lot more like Etherscan. So there's still some things that are not quite right, like this top bar, charcoal looks bad with the blue and the bottom doesn't look right here. And so I said, can you make the nav bar and the footer light themed? Currently the dark backgrounds clash with the blue hero section. Okay. So then I took that CSS and put it into app.css and let's see what it does. 
All right, boom. That's looking a lot closer. Okay, so the last thing is that this text color doesn't look right. Like if you look at Etherscan, the actual text color is more blue, kind of consistent with this theme. All right. And so I'm going to ask ChatGPT to fix that. And so then I said, can you make the navbar text a dark blue so that it's themed like the hero section background? And we just pop that in here from step eight. Click save. And let's go back here. And there we go. It looks awesome. All right, so that's an overview of how I use ChatGPT to clone Etherscan. Again, you could clone the entire functionality of this with ChatGPT itself. I wanna skip past that in this video and show you the thing that I'm really using ChatGPT for, which is to create user interfaces and to create styles and themes because I don't like writing CSS and sometimes I just wanna get things done fast without having to hire somebody else to do this. And this is a real world way that I'm actually using this in my current workflow. I think it's a great thing that you could also adopt for your own projects, especially if you're trying to create something like a portfolio project or a proof of concept, or you need to ship something fast. So I hope you like this video. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so that more people can learn about blockchain. And if you want to become a blockchain master, step-by-step -step, start to finish, break into the blockchain industry, then I can show you how to do that over at adaptiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Daffy Diversity.